Hello everybody and welcome to another mod showcase. Today we're going to be looking at a really cool mod. Um, it's called Atlantis. So I've decided that I'm no longer a panda. I am now a mermaid. That was supposed to be more dramatic, but I don't have Optifine because this is a mod and I can't zoom. So, yeah. Um, so, Atlantis. Basically, how you get to Atlantis is you dig straight down and then eventually you'll find your way to the undersea world of mermaids and beauty and all that kind of stuff. But we are in a mountain biome, so this is probably a stupid place to dig down. Just kidding. Uh, that's not how you get to Atlantis. Of course it's not. To get to Atlantis, we're going to need to find an ocean monument. We even have new things. Speaking of which, I wonder, can you, yeah, you can't find that structure nearby. It's its own dimension. So we have to find a monument and we have to go to that monument. We have to give me a wooden sword or a netherite sword. A netherite sword might work better um, for the purposes of right now. And then we have to go kill an elder guardian. And once we kill an elder guardian, it says that you have to kill all three, but I tested it and it seems like you only have to kill one. And once you kill that elder guardian, um, a block will appear and it looks like a blue con light blue concrete block, but you're going to want to right click on it. Oh, it says no passing the gates of Atlantis. Well, okay. Well, I right clicked on it and it gave me an advancement, welcome to Atlantis. And it didn't give me anything for getting that advancement, but you see I spawn on top of that block right there. Same block that we came in through. And basically this is just an expansive coral reef, but there are a few changes. This mod doesn't add any new mobs or anything like that as much as I would love mermaids, but there are a bunch of new decorative blocks, new sets of armor and tools, and cool um, new structures. So. The first thing that we're going to look at, this seems to be just a decorative block from what I've seen. It's a colored shell block, and there are a lot of different colors. I think there's one for each um, regular color, right? So the cyan, there's red, uh, brown, that one's brown, um, green, and blue. But um, what, we're, what we want to look for is a specific structure, and actually there one is right off the bat. If we go over here to that structure, you can see that there's a sea lantern. And if I go into survival, actually, I will not drown because I have water breathing five and haste four the entire time that I'm down here. And so this spawns with a little bit of prismarine stuff and there are these new algae blocks. Um, but I think you need silk touch or shears or something to mine those. So I'm gonna give myself a pickaxe. Well, obviously this is you know, what we've seen before, it's a prismarine. And then this, what is this? Is this just concrete? Light blue concrete. But then once you get into it, you find these, I think, aquamarine ores? Yeah. And if you get a bunch of those, then we can smelt them. And I'm probably just gonna go back into creative to show you. But once you smelt them, you get, um, let's go back into creative you get um, aquamarine gems. And if we get ourselves a crafting table, there's a couple of things that we can do with this aquamar aquamarine gem. So first of all, for some reason you can't drag, so I'm just gonna dupe it, and then, then you can drag. So you can make blocks of aquamarine, which look like that. Um, it's kinda cool. And you can also make all of these different aquamarine armor pieces. So we'll make ourselves full aquamarine armor and we can look at how much protection it gives us. But it looks really cool. Um, so we get three armor and one armor toughness, seven armor, six armor, two armor. 
And if we look at ourselves, we look like a knight or something. That's so sick. Um, and the sun looks really cool too. It looks like it, I don't know what, but you can't actually leave the ocean. It just continues up forever. So, um, yeah. If you don't want to have to, see if you, look, if I place this down and right click on it, it doesn't do anything because it's a special kind of block. But if I go into creative, I can show you. Um, we'll talk about that stuff later. There's some stuff that I'm not actually totally sure how you craft. If you have sticks, you can use these, um, you can use th these aquamarine gems and make yourselves full tools and stuff. Um, but what I wanted to show you was this, and that's an orb of Atlantis. And that's crafted with, um, with some other stuff. But if you right click on that block right there, you, use it, you place it down and you right click on it and it takes you back to the regular ocean. But I want to, and that way you don't have to defeat an elder guardian every time that you want to um, go to Atlantis. So there's one more structure that I want to find and that is this oyster structure. So let's get there. They seem to be pretty common. And if you mine it with a regular pickaxe in survival, you're just gonna get these blocks, at th this block itself. Um, which is the oyster shell block and that i know of you can't craft anything with this but it comes with this white pearl block and you can dye it and get any of these other colored pearl blocks and there are also these special um these special underwater flowers called atlantis flowers um and then the algae which is a special block um and yeah so there there are a bunch there's a bunch of stuff that you can craft here Le oh, um, like uh, this Atlantean core, lantern, um, chiseled golden block, chiseled golden aquamarine, um, these ancient spruce wood moss, which I kind of want to look at, but I'm not sure what the crafting recipes are for them. Does this act as a normal wood? It sounds like a wood. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure how you get those in survival. There's also um, this stuff, which are more types of ores. And um, you have the Orb of Atlantis, which I showed you. And then there are Atlantean crystals, ocean stones, and drops of Atlantis. And I think if you craft like um, four Atlantean crystals and a drop of Atlantis, then you get this Orb of Atlantis. And I'm not totally sure how you get these brown rot patches. Um, but they just, they just kind of seem to exist. But I guess once you have those brown rot patches, you can craft this, these, like, um, brown rot armor and stuff. So, this actually is better than the, um, aquamarine armor. Like, slightly. But it definitely does not look as cool. Um, it's still pretty cool. It's, like, camouflage armor. So that's kind of sick. Um... But yeah, so, uh, one more thing is that you can, if you find a ravine, an ocean ravine, let's see if we can find one, um, there will be, even in the overworld, I think, there's naturally generating, um, yeah, aquamarine ore, and if you smelt that in a furnace, like gold or, um, or, like gold or iron, then you get those aquamarine gems. And that's what you use to craft um, the armor and stuff. So yeah, this is a really cool mod. It adds like a whole nother dimension with a bunch of new blocks. Um, I wish that I knew how to craft some of these blocks. But um, yeah, it wasn't very clear. Um, it didn't yeah, give very many instructions. Oh, I didn't even realize that there was a moon. That's so cool. But yeah, there's nothing, um, there's nothing, nothing hostile here. Like, no hostile mobs or anything like that. It's just a very chill, um, place. It's like the opposite of the nether. Um, in that there's, like, only ocean mobs except for drowned. So yeah, it's a, it's a really cool mod pack. Um, and yeah, I would definitely suggest playing on it, but... I think that because I can't really figure out um, 
how to craft the rest of the stuff, we're going to have to cut this one a little bit short. But let's look at all of the stuff that you can obtain. So you have the aquamarine gem that you get from mining this aquamarine marine ore. You always have water breathing and haste. Um, I'm not sure how you obtain these Atlantean crystals or ocean stones or drops of Atlantis, but you can use them to craft orbs of Atlantis. What I'm assuming is that you craft the ocean stones into Atlantean crystals and then you use those with the drops of Atlantis to craft the orb of Atlantis. You can also, um, you can also make, if you figure out how to get, um, how to get that, uh, the brown rot patches, then you can craft these rot, um, armor, and I'm assuming these moss blocks, but I don't totally know how to get those. There's one for each wood. You can use the aquamarine gems to craft axe, pickaxe, um, which is definitely a lot i wonder if it here let's compare it to netherite so that's 11 this is only eight so it's a lot a lot better than netherite um it seems like the armor isn't well actually is it uh the armor helmet has plus three armor and the chest plate has plus eight armor and this one has plus three and plus seven yeah so the netherite armor is a little bit better but then um aqua aquamarine tools are better um, than netherite and you have the blocks of aquamarine which are decorational the chiseled gold aquamarine which I also think are decorational but again not sure how to obtain those in survival Atlantean cores and ocean lanterns which I think are like sea lanterns um, they'll give off light so let's see if I place that down I don't wait let's see if I yeah, it makes the same sound so right now the light level is zero and then i place that and yeah so it does give off light a light level of nine it seems so that's cool um let's see what else so yeah and then you can also get all of these um shell blocks which i think are also decorational and the pearl blocks which you can dye also decorational the oyster shell blocks it is a very decorational mod pack and then you have these awesome atlantis flowers and the algae which are custom plants and i think yeah the algae doesn't go directly on top of a block i think you need to like plant it to the yeah i think you, you can't plant it directly on top of a block you have to like put it on the side of a block or like hovering over a block i don't know exactly how um you would do that but the flower i think you can place as long as it's under water like if i were to leave atlantis using the orb of atlantis right um i mean the ground can we place this uh, no okay so it can only be placed can it not be placed oh it can okay so it's like can it not be placed outside of atlantis so i guess it has to have at least one block of water above it um to be placed it's gonna be it for the atlantis mob thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one good bye Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It's free and you can unsubscribe whenever you want. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video.